Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. I'm gonna show you this easy appointment booking app for Shopify, really cool. Something that you probably haven't seen before. We're gonna go over the shoulder, but first I'm gonna talk about why for service-based businesses, this is an absolutely must install 100%. And you're gonna be able to take your entire booking system online and combine it with your Shopify storefront. So you're gonna have everything all in one place, your storefront, your appointments, all running through Shopify. And obviously you'll be able to significantly increase your appointment conversion rate, your booking rate. Once you enable this booking feature, we'll go over the shoulder. I'll show you just how easy it is. You'll be able to save loads of time on phone and text message and email appointments and booking back and forth. This literally is fully automated. You'll see it's an entire booking system, a calendar and all that great stuff inside of your Shopify store. And it will be fully automated. Like I said, we'll go over the shoulder. If you've been looking to do this before, there's really no built-in way to do this with Shopify at all. You're not going to be able to accept bookings or timings or anything like that. So you do need to use an app. I'm going to show you the one that I use. And you need to be able to integrate with your theme, with your branding, and with your overall storefront. You don't want this to look like just something slapped on. You want it to look nice and branded. And I'll show you exactly how to do that with the Easy Appointment Booking app. That's the whole point of this video. And this is the app that I use. This is the app that I highly recommend whenever anyone asks about appointments or booking systems for Shopify. They've really kind of done a great job with this. And let's go over the shoulder. You'll see exactly why, but highly recommended. You see the link below this video, but uh, let's take a closer look now. You're looking at the easy appointment booking app by Serviceify. And first of all, take a look five out of five star reviews on 60 plus reviews right now. You're going to be able to take bookings for anything. And I love the uh, kind of thing. You'll see this in action. Create your event or service in five clicks. Incredibly easy to do this. There's no technical skill required whatsoever. You literally just get this up and running with easy appointment booking. You'll be able to take those appointments, the bookings, the services, the events, and show them in a calendar type view. Again, we'll go over the shoulder so you'll see it. But this is that booking system that uh, Shopify has been lacking. Now you have it with this uh, really easy to use app. Auto reminders, really cool as well as the people get up towards their appointment, we give them automatic reminders. This is really, like I said, all about automating the entire process to get us more revenue without spending any more time on the phone or on text or on email setting up appointments and you'll see the back end. But basically the idea is we're going to be able to customize everything, set up specific dates, add in our colors, add in any specific questions and fields, and then embed this directly into our Shopify site and our Shopify dashboard. So. Very easy to use. I invite you to take a look at this. You see the link directly below this video. See the pricing over here as well. But let's go over the shoulder now and I'll go into a demo store and we could take a closer look at easy appointment booking. So all that we need to do right now, come over here, click add app. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where we simply need to give permission between easy appointment booking and our store here basically just to talk back and forth, install everything. We never need to look at any code or have any type of setup or anything like that. We literally just click the install app button right now in the background. It's setting up easy appointment booking and it's going to refresh this page in a second and bring us into our onboarding. And uh, you can click this uh, watch two minute tutorial, but I'm going to show you everything that you need to know and walk you through over here, creating your first event. So you're a service based business. You go ahead and you install easy appointment booking see uh, directly below this video is that link again. And remember, this is perfect. Let's say you are an e-com store. Let's say you're selling pet products. You want to start trying dog walking or an art supply store, trying live events or workshops, right? Being able to create events and sell directly on here. Very, very easy. You could even manage your own schedule, your staff's schedule. And we have the reminder features as well. So let's get right into it. Select a product to take the bookings for it. If you don't already have a product, I'll just use any demo product. You can, of course, come right over here and we can create any service based product or really any product at all that we want to have in here. You see, I have a huge catalog of other products. We can come over here and we'll do something like sample live event. And I'll just fill this in with some basic information right now. Come over here and set this for a hundred dollars. And again, this will just be a sample. Of course, you'll have your full information in terms of your full product and your full service. We'll fill it out all over here. But for the sake of having this now live in our store, we're going to be able to come back into the app and we're going to go ahead and select this product as our actual product. So you see it right here. We'll click the little checkbox again. This will work with any product inside of your store catalog. So if you don't have any service based events or any type of things that you want to hook into this catalog, you just come right under here to products and add them again. This is a direct integration into your Shopify. So literally using that exact product now, just confirming 
that we've selected this product here for our event. Now we can start setting up things like our appointments. So we'll come down here in order. And again, this is just your kind of very easy to follow editor here to create or edit any type of event. Again, we'll go back to the dashboard after we finish this. But first thing, of course, we could rename it if we want, but we have our team availability. And we don't have any saved availability in here yet, so it's prompting us right here to start with our new availability. And it's gonna default a lot of the different information that already has like your store name and whatever other information you have inside of your Shopify account. But what you probably don't have would be times. And you wanna make sure that you're noticing how the times are defined here. You see nine to 1700 hours, you mean nine to five, right? Your typical nine to five schedule. You get to change this depending on you know what your schedule is. Are you gonna be open on uh, Saturdays? or you could just copy and paste the entire schedule throughout. If you wanna do seven days a week, or we could take out Sundays, or we could take out Wednesdays, for example, right? Whatever we wanna have. Let's say we just wanna have it on Mondays and uh, Tuesdays, we can have that over there. We could add date overrides as well, if you wanna get specific, or you know, most of the time holidays, things like that, we can kind of put in to make sure that we're not encountering any uh, appointments that we don't want to make available. Now we have, the, this is actually a nice feature as well, depending on what type of events, sometimes you could be having uh, digital events or different levels of events that are still gonna be running the same event. You could check this box, have the team member become available. Nice pro feature as well to connect directly into Google Calendar. But we'll save this over here. We'll just do a nice simple setup over here. And we could add more availability as well with other different staff members, other team members. This one was just defaulting again to kind of our store admin. So you need to have at least one selected to uh, go, but we could have more than one as well if we had more staff members. Now we get into the specifics, right? Are we running 30 minute appointments? Are we running five hour seminars? Are we running uh, 15 minute uh, meet and greets, right? What are the different types of durations? We're gonna keep it with 30 minutes in here, but you could literally change it to whatever you want. If you want it to do an hour, obviously do 60. If you want it to do three hours, you do 180 minutes. You see the timing over here. So we'll bring it back over to 30 minutes over here. How many people can attend each appointment? Again, is this you're gonna be running a big event where you have 100 people in here? You could have 100 tickets, right? If you're gonna have, uh, let's say, just a one-on-one, -on -one, obviously you keep it one. If you have, let's say, a mastermind setting of 10 people, you set this to 10. So it depends on how many attendees you want to be able to sign up for that appointment. Typically, if you're doing a 30-minute appointment, probably gonna be a one-on-one -on -one type thing. Buffer time, actually a very smart scheduling thing here. You might not be able to do Let's say you book a, an hour appointment, but you can't go like one to two to three to four. You need to have some time in between. You could add like a 15 minute buffer or what's probably the most relevant over here, having a 30 minute appointment and a 30 minute buffer time. But uh, you can customize this to whatever you want. You could also put zero if you wanna just run them back to back to back. This will basically differentiate the timing in between appointments. Here we could add some notes and uh, location. Again, this is gonna be uh, more relevant if you are an in-person event, if you are a digital event or a virtual event, you probably don't need to fill this out. Here over here for some of those virtual uh, sign-up links, really just depending. I'll just put in a uh, sample link in here. For example, my little Facebook group. Okay, customer booking options. These are basically just the uh, different options that we have configured to each uh, overall calendar, or I should say each event. So these will be specific to each event. When can customers book? Well, basically we're gonna turn it on, but we can also launch a specific date say okay tickets are going to go on sale or appointments will begin to be available on whatever date we select right so we could have something like that especially if you have limited availability or if you want to create the uh, feeling of uh, limited availability you could do something like this does the event expire obviously we could let them uh, uh, book right up until the time depends on the event type uh, we could set this to where they have to uh, basically have a time before so you couldn't book something like uh, 180 minutes beforehand. So let's say you're looking for a same day appointment, you wouldn't be able to book within three hours or one minute, depending on how much time you need to be prepared, right? Probably want something like 15 minutes at least, or you could do something like 12 hours, or you could even do something like 24 hours, meaning they couldn't, uh, in this case, hours, means they, they're not gonna be able to book up to a day in advance. So they'll have to do some planning, okay? Or they could just book anytime. You have the full option over here and uh, require them to check out or not. Are you gonna pay in person or are they gonna pay beforehand? I highly recommend you have this because just having them check out is uh, gonna be connected right into your Shopify setup, right? All payments, everything will already be ready to go. Some custom questions you could add. This is a nice uh, um, pro version tool that you'll be able to get over here. Add some cu uh, custom inputs in here. 
Um, for example, you could ask things, let's say you're running, um, you know, an event, you could ask about their uh, past experience, you could ask about their income levels, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Over here, we could either do a week by week view, or we could do a monthly calendar, I'll show you a preview of how it's going to look, right, basically just how do you want it to look inside of your store, or, or, or inside of your website here on Shopify. So I like the monthly setup. But either way, you could just come over right over here and just select whichever one you want, you could switch back whenever you want as well. Notifications, we got these reminder emails, these are pro features that we're going to want to unlock. Once we uh, upgrade our plan, this is just a little demo of it right now, but we're definitely going to have those confirmation emails on there. So we're going to uh, save this little setup. And that's really as simple as it can be. Uh, we have our appointment ready to go. We could view it in our store right now because we already have the product page. And all we need to do, we just click select the time and you're gonna see that calendar pop up. Just like I set up, I said Mondays and Tuesdays for availability, I said 30 minutes without any delay in between appointments. You see literally everything is right here. And if you wanna select this exact appointment, all you need to do literally press add to cart and you check out just like any other product on Shopify, the payments, everything else would get sent right back into your order section over here. And really, really powerful, right? It just takes a couple minutes to set this up. We can get into a lot uh, more depth as well. We can start to customize what they call the widgets that we have on here. And we'll be able to hide these. These are pro features to allow booking on pretty much any page that you want. We could have custom fields as well. This is gonna allow us to ask and collect more information that is specific to our business or specific to our events that's gonna help us Let's say you're a hair salon or you could put in what specifically they're going to get done or when the last time they were there etc cetera, etc cetera. a lot of different notification options as well this is uh, like what i showed you at the bottom of that creation tool we're going to have the um, notifications but also those reminders which are very powerful you can take a look at the account section as well here's some of the configurations google calendar zapier uh, you can customize your email design highly recommend doing this again this is an upgraded feature once you get off the uh, free trial in here Email notifications, you'll be able to customize all of these as well. And here are those exact templates. So you have full control over everything. I mean, literally every single field, every single piece of text, you have full control over. We have the a little section here, which is gonna show our upcoming bookings. This is gonna show our upcoming availability. And really it's as simple as that. We're back here over onto the dashboard where we can go ahead and create a new event or we can manage that existing event that we just created in the one that you saw right over here on our sample event. So that was easy appointment booking and you can see why I use it, why I recommend it. Very, very easy to use, very powerful. And again, we got those five out of five star reviews over here. So take a look at the link directly below this video, right over here, get it installed in your app store. There's a, I'm sorry, in your store, your Shopify store right over here from the app store. Free plan is available as well. And you're gonna see that instant boost of revenue and that time savings by fully automating everything. Remember you got those auto reminder emails as well. So a really, really great piece of software here. Make sure you get this inside of your Shopify store. Easy appointment booking, link below this video, highly recommended. Hope it helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.